reliability test in Excel using the Compax Alpha based on ANOVA table for Likert scale questionnaire or a survey. Reliability test will measure the internal consistency of items and do determine whether the questionnaire is reliable or not by producing a alpha value that ranges from zero to one. Zero means that the survey is unreliable and one means that the questionnaire is 100% reliable. The test will measure whether the questionnaire if it has been repeated on different time and date with the same group or subgroup of the participant, their responses will be similar in both different occasions. In this Excel sheet, I had inserted a data taken from the responses of 20 participants answering and giving their opinion on 20 different items or questions and their opinions was scored on a five point Likert scale from one to five. One means that the participant is strongly disagreeing and five means that the participant is strongly agreeing and a value of three represent a neutral response. To evaluate and assess the quality of this questionnaire by performing a reliability test, the value of the Compax Alpha can be determined here in this Excel sheet using ANOVA table. And the way to do that is to click on data here and then click on the data analysis icon. If you don't have this icon, there are, I have produced a video clip that shows you how to insert these data analysis. Once you click on this icon, a window will appear and we are going to select the analysis of ANOVA two factor without replication. If we click on OK, another window will appear and in this window we're going to select the input range of the data. For the input range, we're going to select this range, including the labels of each data. So we're going to include the labels. And I'm going to produce the output into a new worksheet, keep it as it is selected here. If we click on OK, a new sheet is generated for the two-factor ANOVA two-factor without replication. What is interesting in this two uh, parts is the second part here for ANOVA, specifically for these two values for the mean square for the rows and the mean square for the error. And the way to calculate the alpha value here is in this cell type alpha and then next to it select the cell insert equal sign and then insert a value of 1 minus the mean square of the value for the error divided by the mean square value for the rows and if you click on enter a value of 0.81 is generated for alpha if i'm going to reduce this a little bit 
reducing the decimal point what does this value means it means that the questionnaire or the survey is 81 percent reliable if i go back again to the sheet one here we have a table reference table showing the Crompax alpha value and its level of reliability so if the value was equal to 0.9 or greater then the reliability is excellent a value of 0.8 to 0.89 indicate a good reliability and the value of 0.7 to 0.79 represent a, an acceptable reliability a questionnaire that have a value of alpha between 0.6 and 0.69 is a questionable in reliability and a survey will be poor in reliability if the value between 0.5 and 0.59 and the questionnaire will be unacceptable or unreliable if the value is less than 0.5 so this is the way to do reliability test in Excel based on ANOVA table.